Welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Todi aspherical wide angle and macro lens for a smartphone. This was provided to me by the distributor but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing this before I post it. And if you're interested in one of these I'll put a link in the description of this on Amazon and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look at the box here it says 2-in-1, a 15x macro lens, aspherical wide angle, a high resolution up to 20 megapixel meets all shooting requirements, universal clip for any smartphone. And it says um, mobile phone lens use matters needing attention. When you use, pay attention to gently handle, avoid bumping, resulting in lens damage. Uh, many cotton or special lens cloth wipe lens can be dipped in water properly. Be careful not to immerse water in your mobile phone while cleaning. When installing, we have special lens clip to facilitate your installation. After use, wipe the dust with lens cloth to avoid damaging the lens. So let's open it up here. Looks like we have some instructions here. So this comes with the lens cap, the metal clip, the pouch, wide angle, clip, and box. So it looks like there's two clips. We'll check that out. Installation, it says clips are aligned with the lens. Fix the clip, vertical alignment interface, and finish. It says the pouch is also a cleaning cloth. Okay, so let's take it out. So the pouch, it also comes with some cleaning cloths in there too. So here's the lens. And aspherical means it has, it's not a circular shape, like a sphere. So we have two different lens clips here. You have this one that clips on like this, and this one tightens on, and it has two locations on it. So you can line it up like so. It has little registration lines there. And I imagine if you crank down on that, you could damage something, but in general use you won't. And this is metal. So once that's off, we can screw this in like so. I just moved it and there we go. We have the, this would be the wide angle lens. So I'm going to try and attach this to the phone I'm recording with right now. I think I'll use this clip. And we'll see the change here. So this should widen things up quite a bit. Okay, so this is with it on. You can see all the packing material. And this is without. So you can see it brings in all that stuff. It actually, when I hold this out here like th this, you can almost center this on the camera and then just clamp it on. And this is clamped kind of right on the edge. I'll move it over. There we go. So that's giving us a wider angle view of our uh, surface here. So this lens does come with covers for the front and back so you can keep those from getting dirty. So next we'll take a look at the macro lens. So you want to unscrew the two lenses. And this is a reverse thread. Okay. So we'll take this and I'll put that on the clamp. And I'll clip that on. And now I can look at things up close. Like so. Well, look at there, the funny thing is it says the effective focusing distance is 2 to 9 centimeters. <laughs> Which is about, uh, probably about 4 or 5 here. So let's take this off. Let's see how it magnifies. See if I bring this up close to try and um, focus it doesn't. So I need to have the lens on to do that. There we go. And I think this would be popular if you're like taking, uh, say, pictures of bees or something. Uh, some flowers, small flowers, bees, insects, uh, you know, just up close things. Here's a razor blade. Get a nice up close image of that. If I take this off. So 
So that really does a good job of magnifying it. So this is my test phone. I always test with mounts and stuff, and um, it usually has this big case on it. I'm gonna see how it fits with this case. So with this case, it's probably a little too thick here because you can see the lens is recessed quite a bit. So the camera I'm filming with right now actually has a case on, and this works with it because it's thin enough where the camera is. So as far as these clips go, this uh, has a little rubber coating on it. This has rubber here and rubber on the clamp portion. So that fits very well. There we go, I have a nice up close image. This is a paint spreader, or this is a glue spreader. You can see all the little, these are silicone like bristles. This is a shop brush. Here's a piece of steel wool. So I think that macro lens is going to come in really handy on a lot of, I do a lot of detail things in some of my videos, and uh, having up close shots is really nice. Then we can screw this back together. Remember this is reverse thread. This was a little tight when I got it, but I may have tightened it myself because I was probably turning it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. And if your phone, if your camera's in the middle of your phone, um, these ha this one has a pretty good reach on it, and this has a little bit bigger reach. So this has two different reach levels. And there's the wide angle again. So if I raise my camera, I can really get a good wide shot of my bench. Let's take that off now. And there's the zoomed in, that's the normal view there. So here's a shot of the wide angle lens, and you can see this is not a perfectly spherical shape there. The aspherical lens it helps with like lens flare and things like that. So I think this is a pretty cool kit. I like that it comes with the wide angle and the macro, and it has this uh, case to carry it in, so you can uh, take it with you. But the cameras we use a lot of times are our phones, and um, you know, there's no reason to carry around a whole other camera if you want to do wide angle or macro shots. You can just carry this little thing with you and, you know, get a better camera out of the camera you already carry with you. Let's take one last look at the uh, instructions here. And uh, you can see the specs on these lenses. I'm not a lens expert here. <laughs> and here's the layout of the lens. So this has opposite thread on this one. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.